This is Radar for On the Radar Entertainment Blog with another weekly baseball observation. The Phillies have decided to not use Adam Halsey or Gene Segura, even Cesar Hernandez in the leadoff spot. They've been going either Bryce Harper or Reese Hoskins in the leadoff, and the other one batting second or Real Muto a second. Gene Segura has experienced leading off. Cesar Hernandez has led off for you. Adam Halsey got speed, and even Scott Kingery was batting leadoff when he was playing center field for a long stretch. So the idea is the Phillies are taking their two sluggers and putting them one and two. It's probably not the best idea because they just hit a bunch of solo shots. Nothing's going to come in. And the Nationals continue batting and being second when his best value is leadoff. And the Cubs then batting Hayward leadoff and playing center field because of Nick Castellanos playing right field. And he's batting second. They're sometimes playing Castellanos in the left field. And, you know, Almora happens center field. But, again, Hayward's not a leadoff hitter, nor is he a center fielder. The Yankees continue to bat DJ LeMayu leadoff, despite him of being very best suited to bat second. He's also playing a lot of third base and first base when he's best suited to second base. Jaron Judge should not be batting second with all the injuries they've had this year to major offensive players on their team like Duhar and Stanton and, and you know now Luke Voigt and Edwin Agassi are still in the DL. And then instead of DH and Judge or even Mike Ford or Tal- Talkman, They've DH Cameron Mabin or Giovanni Urshela. They're not the guys you want to DH. And Mabin's best value is playing center field, so I don't want to see Mike Talkman playing center field when you could play Cameron Mabin there. And then the Indians continue to bat Lindor leadoff when he's best suited to bat second or third. The Mariners continue to play like Dylan Moore and this Lopes guy in the outfield when if you have Kian Broxton and you have Malik Smith and you have Domingo Santana and you have D. Gordon, you got enough outfield. Also, stop using Matt Whistler as an opener when Matt Whistler has been has started a major league game, and you have enough pitchers. You got LeBlanc, you got Marco Gonzalez, and you and you have um, time alone. You got enough guys on your team that could be starters, and you got Bass in your bullpen. You got enough guys that can start games. You don't need to do openers, especially when the guys that come in are starting pitchers too. It's just like you're using a starter to start and then a starting pitcher, and then. I'm seeing Nola still playing second base. The fact that you got a lot of infielders on your team like Dylan Moore and Lope. And then D. Gordon once played shortstop this year, this week. That's pretty interesting. He hasn't done that in a while. And the Orioles batting Trey Man City second, it seems like, a couple of times a week and then playing in the outfield. At least now that they call the Stewart guy up, they're playing Stewart a lot in right field. So Mancini doesn't have to always play right field. He may play left field. But again, Playing Santana in center field or playing Wilkerson in the outfield or P- Jace Peterson in the outfield. He's playing infielders in the outfield. Or Santana is a corner outfielder, not a center fielder. And the Rays are playing Darno at first base or leading him off when he shouldn't be. And at least once this week, Meadows play center field. Wow, they should have done that when they played Avi Garcia in center field because that's his natural position. And then with Farias trade and Glasnow's injured and Snell's injured, you would think maybe they would start Jacob you know, J- Jalen Beeks. Nope, he's still pitching in the bullpen. To the Braves, I know that Ciarte got hurt, so that's why Acuna's still doing the center field leadoff thing. But now they got Billy Hamilton, they got Rafael Ortega on, on the team. Those two guys are better suited to play center field, but because they have Duval and Matt Joyce, corner outfielders, they got to play Acuna in center field. But it's not his best spot to play center field, or even leading off. Now the Dodgers continue to bat their slugglers like Jock Peterson and Max Muncy, one and two. They continue to either start Bellinger in center field or move him in center field late in the game and play Russell Martin late in the game at third base. If you play the Garlic guy and you play the BD guy in the outfield, they're not really playing outfielders. And if you play Negro and Chris Taylor in the outfield, that's infielders. And playing Jack Peterson in right field after you play him in the left field this year is interesting because you're playing Bellinger and infielders in center field when there was nothing wrong with Jack Peterson as a center fielder to begin with. And then... The Twins continue to play Ares and Mario Gonzalez and others in the outfield. When Eddie Rosario should be trying to play every day, he's one of your best offensive players. Kepler should be playing right field instead of jerking in between center field and right field. And Jay Cave should get the opportunity to play center field because he did that last year. And also, Miguel Sano has batted second a couple of times this week. He's a slugger, so he'll be batting second. And also, anytime that you don't play CJ Crone or you don't play Nelson Cruz, that's when he should play. Don't be playing Mario Gonzalez. Or Andreanza or somebody like that at first base when they just start at third base to begin with. Now the Marlins are now playing Castro at third base because they called up this Ian Diaz guy to play second base and they're playing Birdie at shortstop. When the best suited guy to play shortstop is Darlon Castro and he did play once, that's surprisingly. Brian Anderson is still playing the outfield when he's not an outfielder. 
And the A's are continuing to play Marcana, Chad Pinder in the outfield when it's when I feel a little bit more confident in shortstop Jerks and Profar, who played a lot of outfield when he's on the Rangers, to play just the outfield in general, or to try Piscotti or Grossman in center field, or actually use the center fielders that you have on your 40-man roster. I know they just want to get his bat in the lineup of this. He's not a great outfielder. Now the Angels are still batting Trout second, playing Thais at third base when he's the first base, and when Trout should be batting in the middle of the lineup, especially when the shortstop, the second baseman, the third baseman, and, and when you don't play Pujols or Otani, you play other guys at first base or DH, and then you play your third or fourth string catcher. The lineup is not that great. The Trout should be batting second. And when you don't have enough starting pitchers, you should start Mejia, who you look to take it off waivers twice, and Trevor Cale. You need somebody to go out there for five innings. The Jays have too many outfielders on the roster to be wasting time with Brandon Dury in the outfield or Reno Gritchick at center field. They have too many infields to be wasting time with Brandon Dury at second base when he's not a second baseman. And they have a cup, and they have one game started a bunch of relievers and not starting pitchers. When they, I think, got Zach Godley on their team, they got enough guys that warm bodies they can start. They don't need to do the opener thing. And then the Reds. Playing Peraza in left field this year was interesting when you had a bunch of infielders. But center field is stretch. I know you've had injuries and trades and stuff, but he's not a center fielder. And then there have been times where the lineup is Suarez and that's it. And then everybody else in the lineup is all like contact hitters like Irvin and they're like slap hitters like Irvin and Barnhart and Iglesias and Galvis in the middle lineup. Yeah, that's not what it should be. The Reds need to fix their lineup. If Otto doesn't play or Suarez doesn't play, I feel like Aquino's the only guy who's shown that he can hit in the middle of the order. Maybe move Senzel down a bit. You, you bet Jesse Winkler down. You don't bat him lead off for one or two. But, you know, the Reds are definitely not a playoff team, so it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But then the Royals continue to play Dozier in the outfield because they're loyal now to Jess, Chester Cuthbert, who they had taken off the four man roster, but then they brought back. And O'Hearn, when the best thing is to do is to play. Dozier at DH and play Soler in the outfield. Even if Soler's not a great outfielder because he's actually a natural-born outfielder. Cardinals are playing Munoz in the outfield because apparently they don't have enough outfielders. They're also playing Tommy Edmond in the outfield. So I like to play infields in the outfield when you have Dexter Fowler and you got Bader and you got Marcelo Zuna. you got plenty of outfielders. They've called up like Tom, Tomas and other guys that can play the outfield. You don't have to play infielders there. And then the Padre, even despite the trade of Famo Reyes, they continue to play this Naylor guy who's a rookie, and continue to bump a guy like Myers, who's a veteran, into center field when he's not an outfielder. and I, So that doesn't make sense. It makes sense that if they want to get Mejia, who's strictly playing because of his bat in the outfield, because you don't want him a catcher, that's fine to play Mejia in the outfield. Not, but that's in the left field. They're not playing him in center field like you're doing with Myers. That's kind of silly. Now those are the weekly baseball observations from the Ray Entertainment Blog. Tune in next week for another set of observations.